welcome to A Simple Step Storytime. I'm Lane, and we're going to read a book about how special you are. We're going to sing some fun songs, hear a story about a love bug, and even make our own fold-up hearts. Reading is love. Hello. Today, we're going to be singing the Barney song, I Love You. This is a nice, slow acoustic version, so if you're ready, let's sing along. One, two, one, two, three, four. Love Me, written by Sally Morgan. I love me. I love my eyes. I love my nose. I love the way my curly hair grows. Tap, tap, tap. I love the way my hands clap. I love the inside me. I love the outside me. I love me short and fat and tall and thin. And I love, love, love me when I grin. Thump, thump, thump. I love the way my legs jump. I love me. I love my ears. I love my laugh. Ha 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 ha. I love the way my toes make art. Twirl, twirl, twirl. I love the way my body whirls. I love me happy. I love me sad. I love me small and quiet and large and loud. And I love, love, love me when I'm proud. Dash, dash, dash. I love the way my feet splash. I love me. I love my arms. I love my chest. I love the way my heart knows best. Zing, zing, zing. I love the way my voice sings. La, 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 la. If I was tall as a tree with worms for hair and clouds for arms and grass for feet, I'd still love me. I am me. Who else would I be? I love, love, love me. The end. Hi everyone, this is Lauren from the North Columbus Public Library. Our second song today is going to be the Skinnamarink song. Sing along with me if you know it. I brought my guitar with me today and um, I have always loved to play guitar and sing and I hope you like to sing too. So sing along with me.
we're going to sing the five little ducks. Are you ready? Before we sing, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Five little ducks went out one day over the hills and far, far away. The mother duck said, quack, quack, quack. But only four little ducks came running back. One, two, three, four. Four little ducks went out one day over the hills and far, far away. The mother duck said, quack, quack, quack. But only three little ducks came running back. One, two, three. Three little ducks went out one day over the hills and far, far away. The mother duck said, quack, quack, quack. But only two little ducks came running back. One, two. Two little ducks went out one day over the hills and far, far away. The mother duck said, quack, quack, quack. But only one little duck came running back. One. One little duck went out one day over the hills and far, far away. The mother duck said, quack, quack, quack. But none of the five little ducks came back. Is that mother duck going to be sad? Yes, because she loves her babies. So the sad mother duck went out one day over the hills and far, far away. The sad mother duck said, quack, quack, quack. And all the other five little ducks came back. Yay! Today, we are going to be making this simple origami heart. It's very easy. Anyone can make it as long as you follow the steps. What you'll need is a piece of rectangular paper in whatever color you'd like your heart to be, and a pair of scissors. If you're very young, please get your parents help with this step. First, you'll need your paper. You're gonna start by making a triangular fold from the very top right to the semi-bottom left here. Once you have that fold, you're gonna make sure it's nice and crisp by pressing down on those edges. Once you're satisfied with your fold, you'll need your scissors, and we're just gonna get rid of this little bottom part that's hanging off the end here. Awesome, now you're just gonna unfold it and you should have a square. It's okay if it's not perfect. And then you're just gonna do the same thing, fold it on the other side into a triangle. Make sure your edges are nice and clean. And then you're gonna turn it and fold the bottom right to that midway point there, that line that you have. Then you're gonna turn it around and fold it all the way to the top on the other side. So it should look something like this. Now that line in the middle is important. You're gonna bring the right side up to meet that line in the center. Fold it nice and sharply. And you'll do the same thing on the other side, bringing it up to that center line. And it's already starting to look more like a heart. The last step is really simple. You're just gonna fold down those pointy ends, tuck it right below the fold there on both sides. And there you have it, your own origami heart. Thank you for joining us for a Simple Steps story time. All the books can be found at the library, so please come and see us. Remember, simple steps every day. Sing, talk, read, write, play, and your child will be well on the way.